To determine where the function is positive or negative, we're going to choose values on either side of our vertical asymptote and plug these into the original function f of x to see if it's less than or greater than zero. So on either side, we have positive one and positive two. So f of one, when we evaluate it, will be equal to negative one and f of two, when we sub in two for x, will equal positive one over three. We really just care about the signs, whether it's positive or negative, because that will tell us if the function is in the positive or negative region. So we can see on the left side of the asymptote, we got a negative number, therefore the function is in negative territory. It's negative where x is less than our asymptote 5 over 4. On the right side of the asymptote, we got a positive value. Therefore, this is the positive interval. And it's positive in the region x is greater than our asymptote 5 over 4.